Hi everyone, this is Corey from PTS, and today we'll be covering the 3 light stack by Pat Light. This light stack also has a buzzer in it, so we'll be hooking that up as well using our Clearstream software to the GPO ports on a Zebra RFID reader. The first port that we have hooked up here is hooked up to the power on the light, and that is the yellow cord here. Port 2 is hooked up to the red light and the buzzer, which is the red cord and the purple cord. Uh, we've spliced those two together to fit them into that second port. Port 3 is the orange light, uh, which is the orange wire. And port 4 is the green light, which is the green wire. With that said, we have three antennas hooked up here, and uh, each antenna here is going to activate a different one of these lights, depending on the configuration settings that we have set up in Clearstream. Uh, so as I go through here, the first antenna is going to light up the green light, the second antenna is going to light up the yellow light, and the third antenna is going to light up the red light and activate the buzzer. Keep in mind, if you had more than one item here, and you were passing multiple items th through the setup, uh, you can track which items made it all the way through and which ones didn't. Because uh, each item would have a record in here, and the antenna name is always going to be the last antenna that it passed. So if for some reason a specific item did not make it to the red antenna, uh, you would be able to see that in the, uh, the data list here. Now that we've covered the physical setup of the pat light, let's take a look at the Clearstream RFID settings uh, that we use to make that happen. So the first area we're going to take a look at here is the readers section of our Clearstream project. And uh, for this demonstration what we did was we had it set to continuous mode. Uh, we configured our three antennas, uh, the first one being green, second orange, and third red. And then we configured our GPOs uh, to essentially fire the lights based on which antenna was reading the tag. Uh, so what I kind of have done here is uh, I have these set to destination data update and what that means is every time a record is updated in our destination table it's going to fire this uh, GPO event. So in uh, the particular case of uh, destination data update for process 3 we're going to fire the, the GPO port 1. Uh, and then likewise for two and uh, one as well with our processes. Uh, you can control uh, a couple of different things here, um, including the duration of how long that GPO stays active. Uh, so in the case of our Pat Light 3 light stack, that would be the amount of time the light is lit or the amount of time that the buzzer is going off. And um, <clears throat> so now that we've, we've set the GPOs up here, there's a few other things we need to do uh, so if we take a look back at our process here, what I've done here is I've set up a source filter so that uh, the, the green process will only read uh, tags that are coming from our green antenna, which is the, uh, the first antenna that we have set up. And then likewise, for the orange and red process, I have another filter in place that does the same thing. Uh, only for the, the value of orange and the value of red. Uh, now keep in mind that these values are relating back to the antenna names that we've named here in the reader section. And that's kind of how the reader knows which antenna is reading the tag and uh, we're, we're using the antenna name to essentially trigger the GPO uh, to fire based off which antenna reads the tag. Uh, the last setting that I have in here uh, for this demonstration is a update existing append if not found post type uh, based off the EPC and essentially all that's going to really do is just make sure that there's only one record in our database and that it just gets updated every time the, uh, the item is, the tag is scanned, it's going to update that one record just with its new location, uh, which in this case the new location would just be the different antenna reading it. That pretty much concludes the demo for today on the Pat Light 3 Light Stack. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us at clearstream.com.